Hey there, welcome once again to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. And we want to focus on 1985 Hamar World Championships all around. This is me on the inner, Mark Vernier, a good friend of mine on the outer. And I want to show you, we've had a lot of questions on the channel about how to start. And this is a good example about how not to start. So I'm not a great sprinter. And first thing you notice here is, why am I closed? You don't want to have a close, you want to be open. Mark is better than me. You don't want your shoulder, you know, perpendicular to where you're going. So be open. So that's one thing. Also, look how high I am. That's not good either. You want to be digging down so you can drive forward with lots and lots of thrust. So first thing, off this skate, you want to be deeper and you want to be open. Okay? Next thing. I have good reaction time, but look at where I go, up. We've talked about this so many times. You want to go forward, not up. The, the, the thing that skaters do that aren't really, really good at this, they just go up. Hey, I got to go up. I got to drive forward. And then you're chasing your blade. So. There's a lot of problems here. Look at this broken ankle, knee, hip. Lots and lots of broken lines here. So can you see how this ankle is collapsed? That does nothing. You have to move earlier off the skate to not collapse the ankle. So move early and you'll avoid this problem. And we've seen it with Akira Kuriva and Uvi ends my recent videos. But again, you see how this just kind of broken lines all over the place sliding out. That does nothing to move the skater forward. And and the arm swing, this is what I call a windmill arm swing. It does nothing. Keep your arms close to you because then you can drive forward in a very clean, efficient cylinder almost. But these arms, it's all arm swing and this is, you know, this skater is trying to get there, but the emphasis is wrong. So you have to emphasize the early part of the push, drive forward against it, drive this knee under you instead of chasing the knee with your head. And that's what this skater was doing when I was doing then. And look how wide this is and how splayed this is, going nowhere and trying to get over there. And there's just not a lot behind it because, because of this. So if you're not over here, you're going to have a really wicked bad angle. And that's what I had going on at that time. And look at the windmill arm swing. Again, really long. Use your arms as a function of what you're doing with your lower body. But this turn is actually pretty good. So although I was slow, my corners at this time were not that bad. I did a lot of short track as I was young. So this is a pretty reasonable corner. Good timing. Anyway, I just want to 